everyone welcome back to my channel now i know what you're probably thinking i forgot ashley could talk but yes i have not done a sit in front of the camera and speak video for a very long time and i just sort of i just sort of fell out of of love with it but i'm back i do it every now and then if you've watched me videos for a little while i'll just disappear for a bit and then i'll come back so today's video is a special one we have created this gorgeous look using something highly, highly anticipated in the makeup world. Ta-da! We've used the Stacey Marie and Be Perfect Cosmetics new eyeshadow palette. This palette is a dream. As soon as it got announced, I straight on the waiting list. So in today's video, I am going to do a full tutorial on this eye look and face. But I'm also going to do a full swatch of the palette so if you're just here for the tutorial i would skip ahead because i'm going to go into a big spiel over the palette now so if you do want to see all the swatches of every color in the palette then please stay tuned this is the palette once you receive it in the post and i will say i ordered mine at 10 a.m i ordered it 10 a.m tuesday morning and i had it by 12 p.m wednesday and that was on standard shipping so well done be perfect cosmetics that was unreal i did not expect to get it that quick at all but i'm so happy i did this is the palette so a nice little color splash and it is quite thick which might be a little bit annoying for traveling but i'm happy i like it quite thick because it feels a bit more sturdy some of these thinner palettes i feel like they could just break any minute so yeah it is a little bit thicker and then this is the back you've got a full list of all the the names the eyeshadow names on the back it says an explosion of highly pigmented colors and shimmers that will unlock your inner creativity developed in collaboration with stacy marie high pigment day and night colors vibrant colors shimmer and glow the palette contains a carnival of colors that includes 17 vibrant matte shades seven high pigment shimmers and two highlighters slash shimmers let's dive in So this is the inside, it comes with a mirror which is perfect, I love a palette that comes with a mirror. But this is it, so you've got your two highlighters here, which is Sinner and Saint. So Sinner is more of your darker skin tone ones, it's more goldy. And then Saint is like more pinky, so perfect for more lighter skin tones. And then here are your eyeshadows, let me turn it this way so it's a bit easier. So these aren't really laid out in any sort of order i wouldn't say which i'm a bit ocd when it comes to eyeshadow palettes i like things to flow to me this doesn't really flow but it's beautiful that's just me being picky this is absolutely beautiful the colors that are involved just this the oranges the purples the shimmers the blues i just think it is a gorgeous gorgeous palette so i'm gonna go ahead and start with the swatches So we've got the first row of shades here from the palette. So starting from closest to the elbow, we've got Shuffle, Guilty, Hustle, Naked, Basic and Rowdy. This shimmer is unreal. They feel so buttery. I'm just going to have to lean out. They feel so buttery and just gorgeous. Just look at them shades. They are all very pigmented. Some of them might not show up as great on my skin at the minute because I do have fake tan on. So this is the second row of shades. So starting again from by the elbow, we've got Funky, Pink Me, Keen, Lit, Wifey and Hush. I think this is my favourite row. Just look at those pinks and oranges. The shades are impeccable. This duochrome pinky one is calling my name. So now for the third row. So we've got Foolish, Wasted, Queenie, Mint, Recharge and Sky. Them gorgeous blues. The shimmers in this palette are so, so buttery. I can't cope. And then the final row, we've got Liquor, Chant, Envy, Breezy, Moony, and mood these are like the deepest tones of the palette just look at them those shimmers that white duochrome unreal and then finally we've just got those two highlighter shades so we've got saint and sinner i'm just going to put them on the back of my hand oh gorgeous look at them glow so the colors in this palette are to die for i mean they are right when they say you can create any looks it is a carnival of colors I'm loving bright coloured palettes at the minute because I think it's just so on trend and just 
perfect and I like the way it's included two highlighter shades as well so clearly I've used this palette already so I know how it feels I know how it blends so if you want to see how to achieve this look using this palette then please stay tuned as that's coming up next so I'm going to dive straight in with this part of the tutorial so I'm just going to prime the eyes first with the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer in C6 I'm just using that all over the lid first like carving out a little line under the brow and then bringing that all down all over the lid making sure to like wing it out slightly and also bringing it down the sides of the nose I just like to cover those areas just in case I change my mind on you know like the shape or style of makeup you want to do so everything's already primed for you you haven't got to worry about it then just using my Zoeva 144 brush I'm just patting that concealer into the lid to set it rather than setting it with powders so once I'm happy with that and then just going to take a little fluffy duo fibre brush I just get these on eBay I'm just going to blend out these harsh edges, especially with this concealer because this concealer, once it's dry, it is pretty tough to blend out. The first shade I'm going to dip into is this gorgeous orange shade here. This is called Lit, just using a Zoeva 227 fluffy brush. I'm just going to pack that right into that crease. So just using the tip of the brush and following just sort of the shape of my eyeball really. Going back and forth in window eye motions. Just like wiggling on the product, taking the brush off, wiggling it on, taking it off. Going back in for more product and building up that colour until I'm happy with it. And I'm not too fussed about bringing it into this inner corner anyway, because as you can see from this eye, we're just going to blank that out in a little while. So just focusing it on like the outer portions of the eye, I'm going from the last lash line, the last lash on the lash line, and creating a nice circle shape in that crease line. So once I've got a basic, I'm then going to blend that shade out using this yellow shade here. This one is called Keen, so I'm just using that on a fluffier brush. This is a Crown C441 brush and just use that just to blend off that edge. And again, keep going back in for more product and just building up your colour. And if you don't know already, I do like to take my eyeshadow quite high up, so quite into the front of the brow. And I am doing like a Stacey Marie inspired look today as well, and that's how she does hers too. She takes it quite high up in the front. So once I'm happy with how the yellow's looking, I'm going to go back in with that first shade lit, still on the same brush we used before. Just picking up a little touch more product, I'm just going to back it, go back in and re-intensify that. But this time I'm just going to take it a little bit higher just to blend it into that yellow a little bit more. Just create a bit more of a gradient between the two shades. So very, very little pressure here. I'm just building up the colour and blending it off at the same time into that yellow. See how there's a nice fade between the yellow and the orange? It looks like there's sort of three shades there. These eyeshadows blend out incredibly as well. It takes no time whatsoever. So next I'm going to add a touch of pink to the, the blend. I'm going to take this shade Guilty, just this gorgeous deep pink colour. And this brush has no name, it's from the Morphe Eye Credible set. It's just like a small flat fluffy brush, it's like a smaller version of the 227. So I'm just using that to really pack this colour directly into the crease. So you want to keep this lower than where you popped your orange. So like I did with the very first step, I'm just packing that, I'm following the eyeball around and packing that on to that area. And I'm just building up that colour until I'm happy with it. I am literally digging where my eyeball sits in my crease just to get that nice rounded shape and get it right where I want it. So then I just want to add some depth to the outer corner so I'm just going to take this shade here this is liquor this one even this is liquor just this sort of deep gorgeous brownie red for this stage I'm just using a Zoeva 234 brush just this little flat one and I'm just going to pack that on the outer third of the lid and I'm going to take that right up to the crease 
and then just ever so slightly blend that round into the crease just that little bit there just so it's that sort of half moon shape I'm using it mainly just to deepen up that outer corner and I'm bringing it quite far in as well just in just to blend with the when we go in with the blues so once I've packed that shade on I'm going to go in with the brush we use for the pink shade Again, no excess product, and I'm just going to blur that line between them. Now to blank out the inner corner, I'm going to take the NYX gel liner in white and just first on a flat concealer brush, pop that down on the eyelids. Now this concealer can be quite drying, this um, gel liner, sorry, can be quite drying, so just bear that in mind. So I'm just blanking out the hole in a corner, bringing it up, like feathering it up towards the brown. And then for the crease bit, I'm actually going to do a bit of a cut crease, just to keep that nice shape there. I'm just going to go in with a little Real Techniques Duo Fibre brush. Just any little small fluffy brush really and I'm just going to blend that so there's no harsh edges. So I'm just blending off any of the edges and blending that into where we've put our eyeshadows as well. So now I'm going to dip into some of them gorgeous shimmers from the palette and first I'm going to take this shade here which is called Breezy, just this gorgeous light blue shade. I'm just gonna take that on a little small concealer brush. I'm just gonna dip my brush in, get some product on the brush, and then I'm just gonna spray that with a little touch of MAC Fix Plus, just to make it a little bit more sticky. I'm just gonna focus that on this inner corner here. I'm just feathering that once I get to the top I'm just feathering that into those eyeshadows so it's not too harsh then I'm just going to dip into this darker blue shade here this one is called recharge just focusing that more on the actual eyelid and then just right down oh look at that Then I'm just going to go back in with a touch of the first blue just to blend those two colours together on the eyelid. Then I'm just going to go back in with a touch of liquor just on that outer corner just to deepen it back up and just blend off the edge of that blue. And then just to blend this bit here where the blue meets your sort of sunset vibes I'm just going to take the same blending brush, this is the pink one, the darker one. I'm just going to lightly go back and forth over that with no excess eyeshadow on my brush. And again with the orange brush too, just taking that a little bit higher. So just while I wait for my lashes to dry, I'm just going to take the same concealer I used before and I'm going to prime the under eye. So to create the yellow eyeliner effect, I'm first going to take my NYX Retractable Eyeliner Pencil in white. And then I'm just going to press on the Stacey Marie Sample Beauty Pigment, which is this gorgeous yellow pigment. And I'm just going to press that on just using a small little angled brush. And also just using a pencil brush, I'm just going to pick up a touch of that pigment and I'm just going to pop it on the inner corner.
So after a little touch of mascara on the bottom lashes, that is the eyes all complete. And I will go ahead and do my face if you want to see how to do that, then stay watching. So I'm just going to add a little smidge of hydration to my skin and I'm going to take the Vitamin E Hydrating Mist from Superdrug. And this just smells like holiday. I'm just going to spray that all over the skin. Don't mind me little fringy bits, I've just tucked them out the way for now. For foundation, I recently picked this foundation up, I've been dying to try it. So the foundation I've got is the Urban Decay All Nighter Foundation. Oops. Come on. Here we go. So once that's all on, I'm just going to go in my beauty blender and just start bouncing that into the skin. Now keeping in with the Urban Decay family today, I'm going to take the Naked Skin Concealer and this is the shade Light Neutral. So that's actually a little too pink for me at the minute, so I'm just going to take a touch of that C6 Makeup Revolution and just add that in. And again, just with the same sponge, I'm just going to press that into the skin. So I am going to add a touch of cream contour today. And to do that, as always, I'm taking the L'Oreal Infallible Foundation Stick and 220 Toffee Caramel. Creating the illusion that I've actually got a jawline. And then just taking my five head down to a four head. I'm going to go ahead and set all those concealed areas using the Kat Von D Locket Translucent Setting Powder. Then whatever excess powder is on my brush, I'm just going to tap between the brows and then just the sort of laughter line area. I'm going to bronze and today I'm taking the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Dark. Pretty much using this to set down those areas where we cream contoured. Then just to deepen up and add like more of a sharp contour, I'm going to take the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Dark Tan. Focus that right in that line. Just taking a little touch of that on the same brush and just contour to the nose. This palette includes two highlighter shades, so you've got Sinner and Saint. So I'm going to use a little mixture of these two shades as my highlighter today. Just lightly dipping my brush into both, tapping off any excess. That is freaking gorgeous. That is such a beautiful highlight. It's not too over the top, they build nicely. Yes, I am feeling myself today. So for blush, I'm taking my new fave, the Milani Luminoso blush. I'm just gonna focus that right there on the apples of the cheeks and just fuse that highlight and contour together on the end. So now it's time for me to do my brows and I must admit there's nothing new to how I do my brows so I think I'm just going to pop off camera and fill them in and I will be right back. So for the lips I think I've left all my nude lip liners at work so I'm just going to go straight in with lipstick and I'm taking the Maybelline Colour Sensational lip lipstick in the shade Tantalising Taupe. And then just to deepen up that colour slightly, I'm going to take the NYX Butter Gloss in Ginger Snap. And it turns out I've also left my setting spray. 
in work too so i'm just going to take a bit of my fix plus spray and just spray all over the skin right so there you have it that's today's finished look using the amazing stacy marie mua palette this palette is unreal colors are amazing they blend nicely they all go together it's absolutely stunning you did such an amazing job stacy along with the perfect cosmetics right so that is all for today's video i hope you have enjoyed let me take your fringe bits down that is it for today's video i hope you hope you have enjoyed this look something a little bit different from me a bit colorful um if you enjoyed this video don't forget to leave a nice thumbs up down below and while you're down there why don't you click subscribe so you don't miss out on any other videos of me creating with this gorgeous palette. So thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you again soon. Bye.